Hi, my name is Elise and today's video is going to be about plastic consumption. So plastic was invented roughly 100 years ago because it was plentiful and cheap to make. So it's created by breaking down crude oil and rearranging its components which is what makes it lightweight and durable and moldable. But it takes 500 to 1000 years to break down. And then there are microplastics. So microplastics are found in cosmetics, but most is from plastics in the ocean that are constantly being exposed to UV light. So 40% of plastic is used for packaging worldwide. And in the US, packaging makes up one third of our annual waste. And a very small percentage of that is being recycled or burned. So how much plastic do we make and how much plastic do we waste? So we are producing more than 300 million tons of plastic every year and half of which is for single use plastic. And more than 8 million tons of plastic is being dumped into our oceans every year. Around 50% of plastic is used just once and thrown away. Annually, approximately 500 million bags are used worldwide, and more than 1 million bags are used every minute. So a plastic bag has an average working life of 15 minutes. And over the last 10 years, we have produced more plastic than the entire last century. Fourteen percent of all litter comes from beverage containers and when you include caps and labels, the percentage is higher. And according to the Container Recycling Institute, 100.7 billion plastic beverage bottles were sold in the US in 2014 or 315 bottles per person. And the process of producing bottled water requires six times as much water than is actually in the container. And for more than 25 years, many developed countries, including the US, have been sending massive amounts of plastic waste to China instead of recycling it on their own. And in 2017, China passed the National Sword Policy, banning plastic waste from being imported for the protection of the environment and people's health. And that began in January of 2018. So some of it is ending up in landfills or being incinerated or sent to other countries that lack the proper infrastructure to manage the waste. For developed nations like the United States, it can be more economical to push plastics out of the country rather than recycling them. So that brings us to the effect of plastic. By 2030, an estimated 111 million metric tons of plastic waste will be displaced because of China's new law. And plastic is predicted to outweigh all fish by 2050. In 2015, 90% of all seabirds had already ingested plastic. And plastic can contain BPA, which interferes with our hormones, and DEHP, which may cause cancer. And microplastics travel up the food chain. So microplastics have been found in honey, beer, sea salt, tap water, even household dust. And approximately 80% of ocean plastics come from land-based sources and 20% from marine. And now that brings us to our last section of the video, which is how we can improve. So we have to address plastic globally, but your individual daily actions still matter. Refuse disposable plastics, especially single-use plastic, and convince others to do the same. And pressure companies and politicians because it is important to invest in infrastructure in developing countries as well as reducing our plastic consumption. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. This is an especially important topic during the holidays since we tend to consume and purchase a lot of packaging during this time of year. So be mindful of your consumption of plastic this holiday season. And speaking of holiday season, I will be doing Vlogmas for the first time ever this year. I will be uploading to YouTube every other day and I will also be celebrating by uploading to the WeTube every other day and if you have not checked out my videos on that site, I will have a link listed down below in the description. That being said, thanks again for watching and until I see you next, peace!